let us have the rectangular coordinate system. This is also called Cartesian coordinate system. This is named after René Descartes, a French mathematician who developed this system. Now, why rectangular? Because it looks like a rectangle. And why system? Because all the points therein follow a system. So, this is the rectangular coordinate system. This one. So, it is made up of two perpendicular lines. The horizontal line that is called the x-axis and the vertical line, the y-axis. So, the point of intersection between the x-axis and the y-axis is called the origin. This one, the origin. And this point has the coordinates of 0, 0. 0 for x and 0 for y. Alright. Now, from the point of origin, going to the right, all the numbers are positive. And from the point of origin, going up, all the numbers are positive. While, for the po from the point of origin, going to the left and going down, all the numbers are positive negative okay and uh, the x and y axis divide the plane into four quadrants that are arranged in counterclockwise direction so this part here this region here is what we called quadrant one or the first quadrant and this one is the second quadrant or quadrant 2. This is quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Now, all the points that we can see here, this uh, region here, this quadrant, have the coordinates of positive x and positive y. Positive x, positive y. So, we are going to name the points, naming first the x, before the y okay for the second quadrant we have negative x positive y for the third quadrant we have negative x negative y for the fourth quadrant we have positive x pa a negative y positive x negative y for the fourth quadrant okay for example we are going to name the quadrant where each point located so for example we have negative 3 negative 21 so let us uh, check again so we have negative 3 so from the point of origin that's negative 3 so going to the left and then negative 21 so negative 3 3 steps to the left and then from here we're going to go down 21 steps because the negative uh, numbers are here so go down from negative 3 we go down 21 steps so the point is located in quadrant 3 so this is in quadrant 3 q3 and then for the point with coordinates 21, negative 3. So, the x coordinate is 21. This is what we call the x coordinate, the y coordinate. So, positive, negative. Positive, negative. Again, we have positive, negative. So, it is in quadrant 4. Quadrant 4. Q4. Okay, if it is positive, positive, of course, it is automatically found in quadrant 1. So, any x coordinate with positive, uh, any positive x coordinate and positive y coordinate, it is in quadrant 
1. Okay. Now, for the point with negative x coordinate and positive y coordinate, it is in quadrant. Where is that? Okay, let's check again. We have negative positive. So, negative positive. So, it is in quadrant 2. So, negative positive is in quadrant 2. Okay? Let, let us have a quick review. We have negative 3, negative 21. So, negative, negative, it is in quadrant 3. How about positive, negative? Positive, negative, it is in quadrant 4. Now, for the points with positive x coordinates and positive y coordinates, it is in quadrant 1. If the x is negative and the y is positive, it is in quadrant 2. Okay. Now, another uses of the rectangular coordinate system is uh, for us to illustrate linear equations in two variables. Now, what is this? So, the linear equation in two variables is of this form. Ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. And A and B are both not equal to 0. Okay? So, remember the conditions. So, A is the coefficient of X. And for the coefficient of Y, we call that the B. And for the constant, it is C. Okay? Now, for example, we have this one. Uh... If we're going to, let's say, we have the points plotted in the coordinate uh, system and uh, we try to connect the points, it form a line. So, this uh, is for linear equation in two variables. For the linear equation in two variables, any x values are possible. So, all real numbers are possible for x values and then for y values it uh, the, the y values depend on the x values for example we have the linear equation x plus y equals 3 okay so the coefficient of x is 1 that is our value of a and then for the value of b the coefficient of y it is also 1 and this is our c now, since uh, all x values, all real numbers can be the values of x, so we can uh, substitute any number to x and then solve for the corresponding value of y. For example, if, y, uh, if x is 1, we have, if x is 1, so substitute 1 to x, this one, copy y then copy 3. Okay. So, we have 1 plus y equals 3. Subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation, so this becomes y is equal to 3, 3 minus 1. So, y is equal to 3 minus 1, meaning the y is equal to 2. Then, if x is 2, if x is 2, so substitute 2 to x, Substitute 2 to x. So, we have 2 plus y equals 3. And then, subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So, we, we may have y is equal to... Okay, let me write it here. y... Okay, for x is... Uh, I'm going to show you first when x is 1. Okay? So, this becomes y equals 3 minus 1. And then, when x is 2, this becomes y is equal to 3 minus 2. And then, when x is 
3, y is equal to 3 minus 3. And then, when x is 4, we have, subtracting both sides by 4, we have y equals 3 minus 4. Okay. So, we have this one. Subtracting 2 from both sides, so we may have this one. y is equal to 3 minus 2. So, 3 minus 2, that is 1. So, when x is 2, the y is, the y value is 1. Then, when x is 3, the y value would be 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0. And then, when x is 4, if we subtract 4 from both sides, we may have 3 minus 4. Remember, in uh, combining numbers with opposite signs, we are going to subtract them and then copy the sign of a number with bigger absolute value. So, we have negative 1. So, we are going to plot the points. If x is 4, the y value is negative 1. Okay, let us go back to this line. This one. Okay, when x is 1, when x is 1, do you remember it is positive 2. When x is 1, the value of y is positive 2. So, we have this one. If x is 1, y is 2. So, if x is 1, going up 2 units, so the point is here. And if x is 2, if x is 2, the y value is 1. So, from here, going up 1 unit. And then, when x is 0, if we're going to put 0 here for x, 0 for x, so that becomes y is equal to 3. So, y is equal to 3. So, if x is 0, y is equal to 3. So, since uh, all the numbers are possible values of x, if we're going to... Uh, Substitute numbers less than 1 for x and greater than 4 for x. We can uh, solve values of y. Corresponding values of y, it is uh, uh, the values of y continues to decrease. As we, you could see here. If we increase the values of x, the values of y decreases. This one. Okay, so the values continue to decrease. So, if we're going to connect the points, this line, uh, the, it, the points connected will form a line and it is continuous. That is why we have an arrow here, meaning this is continuous going up there and it is also continuous going down here. So, it has an arrow. Okay, so this is the graph of linear equation x plus y equals 3. So, that is one purpose of our rectangular coordinate system to illustrate the linear equation in two variables. Okay. Now, since we're talking about a line, which is the graph of linear equation in two variables, we can measure the slope of a line. What is the slope? It is the uh, the measure on how slanting the line is. Okay, now if the the line goes upward to the right, the slope is positive. And if the line goes upward to the left, going to the left, upward, the slope is negative. But then if the line is horizontal, the slope is 0. But if the line is vertical, the slope is undefined. Okay, remember that? Going upward to the right, the slope is positive. Going upward to the left, the slope is negative. And going or um, if the line is uh, horizontal, the slope is 0. If the line is vertical, the slope is undefined. Okay. 
For example, we have this line. Okay? This line, it is goes uh, going upward to the right. Okay? We can uh, measure its uh, slope by counting its rise and run. So, we're going to get the ratio of the rise of the graph, the rise of the, the line, and its run. Okay. For example, this line, this line here, you could see, if we're going to look for, or look at these two points here, where if we're going to base these two points, actually, if we're going to base any two points of this line, uh, still, we can find the same sl slope. Okay. So, let us use these two points. From this point going up, aligned with this uh, point here, it is two units. So, the rise of the line is two units. So, two over the run. So, the run, it is either... go going to the left or going to the right okay now from this point up to this point the run is let us count one two three four so the run of the line is four units so we have the slope of two over four or in simplified form that is equal to one half so, this is the slope of this line here. Now, what if the, the line or the graph of the linear equation is not given? Only the two points. Okay. If given the two points of the line where the line passes through, we can still find the slope of a line. Now, we are going to use this formula. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. m for slope, okay? y sub 2 for the y coordinate of the second point, y sub 1 for the y coordinate of the first point, x sub 2 for the x coordinate of the second point, and x sub 1 for the x coordinate of the first point. For example, we have this one. The line passes through the points with coordinates 2, 4, and 6, 12. Okay, remember this is our x, y. x, y. But then since uh, the, there are two points, we are going to name the first point as x sub 1. Okay, for the first point, we have x sub 1. x sub 1, y sub 1. And then for the second point, we have x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay. So, this is x sub 1, y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2. So, substituting in the formula, we have, for y sub 2, we have 12. This one, y sub 2, 12. And then, for y sub 1, just copy minus sign, minus sign, minus operation. And then, for y sub 1, we have 4. Ayan. Okay. So, for x sub 2, we have x sub 2, 6. And then for x sub 1, we have 2. That is why we have 6 minus 2. Then let us simplify. 12 minus 4, that is equal to 8. 6 minus 2, 4. Okay, so we have 8 over 4. So simplifying 8 over 4, so it be, uh, this means uh, 8 divided by 4. So we have 2. So the slope of the line that passes through 2, 4, and 6, 12 is positive 2. This means that the line 
goes upward to the right. Looks like this one. Okay, another example. We have this one. The line that passes through the points with coordinates 10, 1, and 5, 2. So this is our x sub 1, y sub 1. X sub 2, Y sub 2. Okay, should I write it? Okay, so we have X sub 1, Y sub 1. No, 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 no. X sub 1, Y sub Alright, so this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, Substitu substituting in this formula, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1, all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we have 2 minus 1, 2 for our y sub 2, minus 1 the y sub 1. Okay. Now, for x sub 2, we have 5 minus 10. So, 5 minus 10. So, 2 minus 1, that is equal to 1. 5 minus 10, that is equal to negative 5. So, 1 over negative 5 is our slope. Or, we could write it as negative 1 over 5. The same as 1 over negative 5. Okay. So, the slope is negative 1 over 5. So, meaning the line goes upward to the left. It is negative slope. Okay. Another example. We have this one. The line that passes through the points with coordinates 3, 4 and 3, negative 3. So, again, this is the formula in finding for the slope of a line that passes through or given the two points. So this is again our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 2, y sub 2. All right. So, this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Substituting the formula, we have negative 3 for y sub 2. This one, negative 3. So, be careful with the sign. Negative 3 minus 4 for our y sub 1. And then, for x sub 2, we have 3 x sub 1, we have 3. So, oh, I'm sorry, this is 3. This is 3. Okay? So, 3 minus 3. 3 for x sub 2, 3 for y, uh, x sub 1. So, 3 minus 3. Alright? So, negative 3 minus 4, when simplified, that is negative 7. So, remember, if the numbers have the same sign, when we are going to combine them, we are going to add them. Then, copy the common sign. So, we have negative 7. Then, 3, uh, 3 minus 3, that is equal to 0. So, we have m is equal to negative 7 over 0. But, remember, when the divisor of a fraction is or when the denominator of a fraction is zero or when our divisor is zero the result is undefined okay 
So, meaning, the line of this, uh, the line where these two points pass, pass through is a vertical line. Okay, vertical line. Okay, another example. We have the line that passes through negative 3, 2 and 2, 2. Okay, so this is our y sub 2, 2, minus our y sub 1, this one is our y sub 1, 2, and then for x sub 2, x sub 2, 2, minus negative 3. So be careful with the sign. This minus sign is coming from the formula. And then this negative sign here is for negative 3. Alright? So let us simplify. 2 minus 2, that is equal to 0. Then 2 minus negative 3, this becomes positive. The two negative signs come after the other becomes positive. Okay, so 2 plus 3. So becomes a uh, 2 plus plus 3, y5. Okay, I'm sorry. So, this is 3. Alright. So, 2 plus 3, that is 5. Okay. So, 0 over 5 or still the, the slope is 0 because uh, 0 divided by any number that is equal to 0. So, the slope of the line that passes through this given two points is 0. Meaning, the line is horizontal line. Okay, horizontal line. Okay, next. One last example. We have the line that passes through 2, negative 3, and 4, 6. Again, this is our y sub 2. So, substituting into the formula, we have 6 minus, just copy the minus sign, and then negative 3 for y sub 1. Okay. For x sub 2, we have 4. We have 4 minus, from the formula, 2, which is this one x sub 1. Okay. Simplifying, 6 minus negative 3, that becomes 6 plus 3. Then 4 minus 2, that is 2. 6 plus 3, that is 9 over 2. So, this is the slope of a line. Since this is positive, meaning the line goes upward to the right. Okay. Okay.